Happy Tuesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about emotional healing. Stuck in the stages. If you get stuck in one of the stages of emotional healing, it can be very hard to, to get through that. Now, the reason I'm spending so much time on emotional healing is because this is such a big deal. It is so important right now. And I believe that the Lord has been showing me that this is the reason why a lot of people are not receiving from the Lord. Not maybe a lot, but some. So many of our partners just receive from the Lord and move from poverty and lack into the blessing. But some are not. Some are not able to receive from the Lord. And very often, the Lord has been showing me, and, 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 I, and I can see it now, since the Lord brought this up to me, I can see that this is the problem for people. For some people, that might be the problem why you're not receiving from God. We're going to get past this. We're going to deal with this. And we're going to receive what God has for us. Amen. Say this with me on this happy Tuesday. Happiness starts with a decision. I have decided to be happy on Tuesdays and every other day too. Say this, the rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything works out for me. I'm smart and getting smarter every day. People like me. I like myself. I do like myself. Do you like yourself? I want you to like yourself. That's part of emotional healing. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, uh, don't forget when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak a blessing over your offerings. If you missed offering or uh, donate or blessing day yesterday, yesterday, I got my days mixed up. Yesterday was blessing day, but some people did their offerings. A lot of people did their offerings yesterday in uh, conjunction with blessing day. And that's okay. But if you missed blessing day, Call me today to get your weekly blessing. Amen. I want to talk to you about stuck in the stages of emotional healing. How many of you know there's stages of emotional healing? There's stages. And there's stations, uh, number one, when people are injured emotionally, they go through grief and denial. Stage number one, grief and denial. Now, if you get stuck there, if you get stuck in grief and denial, you never go any further. I know people, bless their hearts, who got stuck in the grief stage of emotional sickness. And emotional sickness is usually caused by trauma. And that trauma always has to do with another person. Almost always. Now, it can be uh, if you witness a horrific accident or something like that. Or if you've been in war and you see some horrible things. I saw horrible things during a war. And it took me a while to get over it. Amen. It took me six months to get over that, uh, what they call the post-traumatic stress syndrome where I would wake up like this, you know, and things like that. Uh, that went on for six months, and all of a sudden it went away. It was gone. And I never experienced it again. Praise God. I know people who 30, 40 years are still like that. They're still jumpy. Amen? But I got over it in six months. And that desire to get back into the war. You know, that desire to fight. You know, because that's the adrenaline. There's an incredible... People don't realize if you've never been in combat, there's an incredible adrenaline there and it becomes addictive. That's why these people go back for more tours. It's, they, they need that addiction, that adrenaline addiction. You know, it's like adrenaline. It's just, oh, but uh, some people never get past that. But some people uh, go through grief. They go through grief and denial because of the loss of a loved one, 
the loss of a loved one can cause incredible emotional sickness. And if they go through the stages, now I saw a lot of that because when I was in college, I worked in a funeral home. So when people came in to uh, uh, arrange the funeral, they all, see, you don't realize funeral directors know all about this. They know how to deal with all these different stages but, uh, because that's part of their training. But when people come in to arrange for a funeral, if it's a funeral of a loved one, which it almost always is because those are the people that do the arranging, they're in different stages of emotional healing. And depending on which stage they're in is how you have to deal with them. And that's what funeral directors know how to do that. They know how to deal with people depending on which stage they're in. Well, the first stage is grief and denial. Grief and denial. And I know people who have lost a husband or a wife and years later, they're still in the grief stage or a pet. People go, people go into this grief stage uh, because of the loss of a pet. I did. When, when Muffy went, went to be with the Lord uh, two years ago, I, I grieved. Now, I still miss her, but I'm not grieving. Amen. That's a big deal. But I was grieving for a while. And we actually got Gracie when I was in the grief stage. I, I got stuck for a little while in that grief stage. But then I got past it. I got past it. Some people don't get past it. Amen. And some people, especially if they lose a spouse or a wife loses a husband, you know, they get stuck in that grief stage and they're there. That's all they want to talk about. They're there. So you have to get through that. The next stage is anger. Why did it have to happen to me? Why did it have to happen to him? Why did it have to happen to her? Why was it my pet? You know, why? Why? And so they go through anger. Now, Many times, uh, emotional sickness is caused by bullying. That was part of my case. I was verbally abused as a child by my dad. He abused all everybody. My sister, everybody was verbally abused. And uh, I was bullied by other kids, mainly because of our home situation. Everybody knew that, I, that my brother and I were being raised by a single mother, an unmarried mother. And in those days, folks, that, that was not cool. Like it's okay now. People don't think anything of it now. But in those days, everybody did. And they looked down on us. So that was part of, and we didn't even know the reason. So that's why we were treated that way. So we went through uh, grief and denial. Then we went through this anger. Anger is often accompanied by unforgiveness. So people stay in the angry stage. They get stuck in that stage. They get stuck in that stage. You know, that, that uh, grief and denial stage, many times people who go through divorce get stuck in that stage. They just, they feel like they go to bed and, and, and every night when they go to bed, they think when they wake up, they'll have their family back together again. Believe me, I know what that's like. I know what that's like. I've been through that too. Amen. Folks, I've been through a lot of things that you've been through and gotten through them. So I know where you're coming from. I can, you know, Jesus went through stages and he went through things and he was tempted like we were. Then you get to the point where you, you bargain. You start bargaining with the Lord. Then you go through depression. Depression is a terrible stage. It's a terrible stage. But you, and it's often accompanied by the grief. Grief and depression sometimes go together. So you have to get through these stages. Then you get to the point where you have acceptance. You just have to accept the fact that that person is not coming back to you. That person doesn't want to be married to you. That person has died and gone to be with the Lord, I hope. And so they're not coming back. So you have to get, deal with the acceptance 
and move on with your life. But the big thing, the big stage is the unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. If that, and it, you know, emotional healing, and I tell people this, <clears throat> always starts <clears throat> and always ends with forgiveness. It always does. It always does. I knew a lady one time, and bless her heart, she came to me and she says, Jimmy, she says, my husband didn't treat me right. I said, well, Grammy, here's what we're going to do. I could tell she was still in the angry stage over that. I said, here's what you, angry and unforgive, unforgiveness. I said, here's what you're going to do. Uh, we're going to forgive. And, and she was broke too. Keep in mind, she was broke. She had lost her life savings. And I said, here's what we're going to do. Every time you think about him, I want you to bless him. She said, well, I can't bless him. He's dead. I said, oh yeah, you can. I said, and you're going to. I said, I want you to say this. Every time you think about that rascal, you say, Lord, give him a good day and a happy day today. She said, he's dead. I said, you can still bless him. She said, well, all right, Jimmy. Got up and walked away. So she did it. Within two weeks, she had been set free. Every day she blessed that rascal, and he was a rascal too, folks. He'd take off in his motorcycle and just leave her, and oh my goodness, and who knows what he was doing. But he was a rascal. And finally, she was able to forgive him. Because when you, when you speak blessings over a person who has done wrong things to you, that blessing comes right back to you. And the devil will quit bringing it up to you. All of a sudden, you will be free from that unforgiveness. Now, unforgiveness is, the I think, the number one cause why people are not accepting from the Lord. There's unforgiveness there. Well, she had lost her life savings, keep in mind. Everything opened up for her. We spoke over that situation of losing her life savings. And one year later, she was holding in her hand a check for almost four times the money she lost. And she lost a huge amount of money. But she got back almost four times. Because once she was able to become emotionally healed, it's like it seemed to open up the blessings. That's what happened to me. Once I was able to heal emotionally, it opened up God's blessings for me. Glory to God. Same thing if you're not receiving from God. Find out if unforgiveness is the reason. Unforgiveness causes emotional sickness. Forgiveness generally will heal the emotional sickness. Always understand, God didn't take your loved one. God didn't cause your divorce. God didn't cause somebody not to love you. Amen. And God won't bring them back to you. Amen. God will not go against another person's free will. But sometimes you have to speak blessings over them. You do this and your breakthrough, your financial breakthrough, your healing breakthrough is right around the corner. Then you call me. Let me help you with this. I know how to do this, folks. Let's get you emotionally healed and we'll get you a breakthrough financially and we will get you a breakthrough with your help. Glory to God. You call me today. Let me help you with this because I know how to do this and I want you to receive from God. I want you to live in God's goodness. Call me today if you need prayers answered. Call me today when you do your offerings and donations because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And if it takes emotional healing to make that happen for you, then I'm going to do it for you. We're going to get you emotionally healed and we're going to get you blessed of the Lord so that you can live the way God intended.